thoughts on what is a really good point for your team? Yeah, I think the, the, the draw is absolutely okay. The result, I think, yes, we had second half, the bigger chances, I think, but we had also a goalkeeper who made a big save in the end, so you can lose it, you can win it. Um, especially because of one day less to recover time. So it was a tough first half for us. You could feel that we were a little bit slow in the mind, a little bit slow in the legs. And um, that was, um, this is time when you want to press uh, a, a not good combination because you are always one step too late and then, then it looks like it looked in the first half. It didn't look well and um, try to change all the shape and try to change the behaviors and then by Every minute you could feel it would be getting better, the, 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 the tiredness was out of the body then, and then you could feel that we want to play what we want, what we can play. And then in the half time we said, must play more football in the decisive moments. And uh, when we do this, we can dominate them and we can let them run. And the pressing from them was in the beginning also good, you have to say. The problem is that they, I think they are too used to do it for longer than 30, 40 minutes. And this is then the problem because then we were coming better in the game and, and the second half, I think we dominated them in some moments quite well and uh, let them run in some moments and created super chances to score. Yeah, it's a pity that we didn't do it, but finally, I think we take the point and after this uh, last three uh, Premier League games with uh, Man City, Tottenham and Man United not losing one, I mean, what can we say? We are happy. You mentioned that one of the games. What does it say about your team that in none of those games were you outplayed and you deservedly got the points from those games? Yeah, but we are not so bad. Huh? We are okay. <laughs> and uh, it's enjoyable to watch. And uh, I think the guys uh, love, love to play football in the moment. And every week uh, they are really yeah, on, on and switched on. And, and I think we, we, we have shown that we can play a good, bar, a good ball, I think. And this is good. Was part of your game plan for today, realising that Manchester United may press you for, for 30 or 40 minutes, but you always knew that they wouldn't be able to sustain that for 90 minutes. And it was about getting that tiredness out of your players' legs so that in the second half, you could kick on and take the game more to them because your team also had chances to win. Yeah, but in the first half, as I said, we had a few nasty ball losing in their own half, but it's always dangerous because we knew that they press a little bit more. The last game against Tottenham, uh, we had more time to build up there. It was not so much pressure on the ball. And then... It is not so easy. We still tried it. We have tried to be brave, but we haven't been quick enough in our decision making. And the positioning was not always perfect. And you know, I have also, from my side, not a lot of time to prepare for this game. It is it's very tough. And then you're not so sure uh, about the positioning. And you could see we changed two times the shape in the first half. And, and only at the end of the first half, you could feel, okay, now this could be the way how it should go. And then second half was much better. Yeah, we tried. We changed a little bit the build-up formation and 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 had then uh, the the perfect opener from 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 Fraser. And and this was a beautiful goal we scored there. And this yeah, absolutely good to watch. And just finally from me, that's one defeat in ten for your team now. Is that the sort of form that will push you into the top ten over the second half of this season? Yeah, when we are uh, keep on going like this, I think that can be possible. But uh, yeah, you don't look like this. You look like. Every game is tough for us. Uh, try to recover now well and then uh, keep on going again. We have, I think, now three home games. This is uh, a good a good uh, chance for taking another few points. But uh, like always, super tough. Thank you, Rob. Congratulations. Thank you, Sam. Um, hi, Rob. Can you hear us? Yeah. Um, first of all, I just want to the work of your goal scorer today, Adam, you've got, got a goal obviously today, got a goal at Spurs, but also you saw him sprinting back almost 50 yards to make blocks in his own box and everything like that. Is he becoming a real complete forward player for you now? Yeah, because this is what you have to do in our team. Yeah? This is the reason why you're sometimes lacking a little bit of freshness in front of the goal, but he has learned to work hard for the team and to score goals now. And this is what you have to do and to do in modern football, otherwise it's not working for us as a club, not... And uh, it takes a little bit of time when you have to learn this, but I think uh, he has shown that he can do this. And um, yeah, this, this, uh, the average of, of, of scoring this season is fantastic. And uh, yeah, they do, I must, I must say, up front, they work for each other very well. And uh, I have the feeling that it gets better and better connected. Uh, yeah, this is good to see. I was going to ask you about that. How much how much have you enjoyed watching that partnership of Brozier and, and Adams flourish over the past few weeks and, and few months, really? 
yeah, I think it was time to give them a chance together. Normally, so big, two big strikers together, it's not always the best, I think, but they have different run uh, behaviors and uh, um, helping each other quite well, I must say. And, and in the end, uh, you have two threats now from this is for us, uh, yeah, important because you see such moments where he scored today and this unit is in these games. And you have still then from the 10 a lot of threat also with, with, with uh, Stewie and with Moy. We had a bad kick on, on his ankle in the first half, so he couldn't keep on going. He still tried it and still was fighting for it. But uh, then we, we, we changed uh, Stewie on the other side and put Kyle on the 10. Also a good opportunity first time. We did it in this way. And uh, I think this can be also something for the future. I was going to ask you about that. What was that how, did you, how did you assess that combination between, obviously, Tino and Carl and with Carl moving forward up onto the 10? Uh, Kyle is a... Unbelievable uh, smart footballer with a super football intelligence and he played left back, right back and now on the 10 and I think he can, in the session sometimes he plays six also so he, he can play every position. He, he remembers me a little bit to Philip Lahm I must say because he's so good on the ball, he has always good decisions, he can run, he makes no mistakes or nearly no mistakes, he's, he's getting better and better and uh, yeah, this is what you need on this position definitely. With regards, obviously, that you made a change at half time with Jan Bednar coming off. Was that tactical or has he picked up oh, an, yeah, an injury? Oh, yeah, uh, I took this, and this, this was the reason why we, we had to leave him in. Okay, Sam Wallace. Great performance from Roger again. Um, if you could just sort of describe his qualities. And also, I, I don't know if you felt he should have got a penalty right at the end when Maguire challenged him in the box. Yeah, but when you challenge, uh, it seems from us, it only takes two or three seconds. It's immediately, yeah, he immediately is checked, it's checked. Goes always very quick. But, uh, no, I, I mean, yeah, yeah we, we, we had chances to win without the penalty. And this is what is a little bit disappointing. But I don't want to be too critical today because, as I said, after having one day less to recover, the the time uh, was you could you could feel that we haven't been that fresh today. If it's even enough to win a point here, I think this is a a, a big a big signal for everybody. Hi, Ralph. Um, did you sense a vulnerability about Manchester United the way you finished that first half? And just in terms of continuing the momentum that you're picking up, how important do you view that point today? Yeah, we knew that we did not do everything right in the first half. That they pressed us in some moments quite well, and uh, we had not the right position also to come out of the pressure. And uh, this was the reason why we were struggling a little bit. We had a few good counter attacks where they can kill us normally. And uh, yeah, as, as long as it's only one zero, you know that you have always a chance to come back. And even if it's two down, I think we have shown that we can turn things around this season. But uh, it's important for us to to yeah, to step out there and play better and play braver. And with the ball, it was the the far better half, the second half, and, and this is the reason why we scored. And the, and the importance of that point in terms of maintaining the momentum that you're picking up in the Premier League? Yeah, sure. Um, when you yeah, spoke about the last few games we had, uh, one of the best teams in, in the league we have played against, and we, we didn't lose one time, so this is definitely something that gives you a lift and makes you stronger, no, no question. Thank you. Hi, Ralph. Um, I was just, I was just wondering what you, you spoke about the vul you were asked about the vulnerability there, but I was wondering what areas of the United team you targeted today. I mean, uh, it's 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 not a not a big secret that uh, when they lose the ball, that the reverse gear is not always the best from everybody. I think in the first half they have shown that they can work good against the ball. They had some good ball wins, as I said, but the longer the game was going, the the more they are cheating them uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the first line, and then and then you can play over this first line, and then you have yeah you have space then, and you have then the chance to to create something, and this is what we did. And there we must be at some moments more clinical and always a, a good balance of the risk you take because when you lose the ball, and you know that the rest defense must be perfect because otherwise the counter of the counter is then the, the situation that kills you, and this is the, the big danger against this team. Last question. Hello, oh, <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Long time no see. Um, congratulations on the draw. I'd like to talk to you about um, what it's like being up against Mr. Rangnick after 
given your history at RB Leipzig and how he has tried to use the 4-2-2-2 at United for a little bit. What's it like uh, playing sort of your former boss? So it was. Strange feeling to, to see, uh, to, to, to meet you uh, in, in such a big sense and in such a game. It is absolutely enjoyable, I think. It was a tactically interesting game for me and, and for him also, I think. We, were, we have seen that everybody tried to change a few things in the game and and uh, it was, uh, uh, yeah, it was after the game. We had a, a, a short chat and, and uh, spoke about the difficulty of our both both jobs of the Premier League in general. And but uh, absolutely proud uh, of of of, of, uh, of what we have done today. And and yeah, uh, against this team to take something, I've been proud. And I said it was a, a good fight. I think a good game also for the, for the fans. It was an up and down. Sometimes a little bit too much ping pong, I think, but. But this is what the people want to see, and this was in the end, uh, yeah, also I draw, but it's, I think, okay. Uh, several, about a year ago, I, I asked you about the development of your team's automatisms, and I, you mentioned about uh, picking when and where was a good time in a season to putting a new automatism and get Southampton to play different football. Today, I noticed you had uh, Mohamed El Anoussi drop into central areas, which is something you used to do with Stuart Armstrong yeah, yeah. the season afterwards. Um, how much further do you think you can take the Southampton team? How many more automatisms can you bring? Uh, from zero nine to one one, uh, I think this <laughs> more than enough. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I know that it was nearly one year ago that we lost here in, in, in a game where we had no chance. But yeah, it was a different team. We have now much more options uh, with with all the players. We uh, we try to keep with the club and and, and sign the summer. I think they had a good transfer window and. The rest is about working every day on your habits and on your qualities. And uh, I think we, we have shown that we're getting better. And the young lads definitely learn quick. Thank you very much. Good luck for the rest okay, of the season. Everyone. Thank you.